What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm down at Randy Marion Chevrolet getting to check out the 2021 Chevrolet Camaro 1SS with the SS 1LE Track Performance Package. Huge shout out to them for providing this sports car for me today. Make sure you guys check out their website. That link will be down in the description below. But this model here is finished off in Summit White. It has an MSRP just over $47,000. But let's go ahead and jump into today's review by starting up underneath the hood. Where you'll find the 6.2 liter naturally aspirated V8 engine. This is paired to the 10 speed automatic transmission and it pumps out 455 horsepower and 455 pound feet of torque. This model is rear wheel drive. It weighs in right around 3,600 pounds. It'll do zero to 60 in the mid to upper three second range up to its top speed of 165 miles an hour. And with a fuel capacity of 19 gallons, you can expect to see around 16 miles per gallon in the city and 24 out on the highway. This has a wheelbase of 110.7 inches. Its overall length is 188.3. It has a width of 74.7 and a height of 53.1 inches. With all of those specs out of the way, we can go ahead and jump into the exterior walk around on the 1SS. So the biggest thing with this particular model is it has the SS 1LE track performance package, which gives you a ton of goodies as you'll see throughout this video. So starting up front, one part of that package is the front splitter. You can see just how massive this is. It's finished off in matte black and it really adds to the aggressive front end of the Camaro. It already has an aggressive front end with all these contours running through the bumper and this just takes it to the next level. You'll also notice the hood is matte black. It has functional heat extraction vents up top as well and just adds to that aggressive look. I love the color contrast between the Summit White and the matte black accents. It just gives it a very nice design. You'll also notice we have these sleek LED headlights along with the DRLs and turn signals. I really like the fact that the turn signals actually protrude into this upper section of the grille. So it's nice how all of that is integrated together. And you'll see in the mesh here, it's finished off in gloss black and we have a lot of cutouts to provide maximum cooling to that V8 engine. You'll notice that in the upper grille along with the lower grille as well. So it's really nice to see that separated with more bodywork. We have the Chevy bow tie badge right in the center. And then you can see some more DRLs down in the lower section of the bumper as well. And then just underneath those, you'll see there's more vents. This will help provide better aerodynamics for this vehicle and channel all of the airflow right through there around the front tires. Making our way to the side profile now, more goodies that you get with the track performance package. We're gonna start off with these 20 inch graphite wheels. They have a five split spoke design to them and they have an aggressive look. I love the aggressiveness to this car. I know I'm gonna say that a lot in today's video, but they just work well with this white and give it a great look from the side. This also features the Brembo brake performance package. This features four piston Brembo brakes in all four corners and you can see they're finished off in red. And this model also features the magnetic ride. You'll see these side mirrors are finished off in matte black just to tie in with all the other accents that you'll see. And this has a really nice side profile design. We have great lines running in the roof just above the windows there. You can see the bulges in the rear fender arches and there's very clean lines running down the lower section of the doors. And finishing up in the rear, I'm gonna start up top with the trunk mounted spoiler. You'll see it's finished off in matte black and it actually extends over the bodywork to the ends of the taillights. So it's really nice how that flows nicely and gives it a great look. You'll also notice the third brake light is just underneath that with a dark housing to it. And that extends over to the LED taillights, which have a really nice 3D dimensional design to them. So I love the look of them with these dual ovals. It just gives it a really cool look. You'll also notice there is no Camaro badging on the rear end of this vehicle. The only two places that it shows Camaro is on the sides where I showed just behind the front tires. So it cleans up the rear, gives it a very nice look. You do, however, have the SS badge over on the left side. And then down in the diffuser, we have more matte black along with the quad tip dual exhaust. Now it's time to go ahead and take a look at the interior on this Camaro. Before I do that though, I'm gonna go ahead and remotely start this up. So all I have to do is double tap on the lock button and then hold the button just underneath that and this will fire right up. This is a very cool feature to have. You can get your Camaro up and running in the morning and then you can also hold on this to shut it off if you'd like to as well. But now with the vehicle locked and the key in my pocket, all I have to do is walk up to it. I'll push on this button on the back of the door handle and that will automatically unlock it. Where you'll find there's leather and stitching on the armrest. We have a really nice trim piece that surrounds the window controls along with the side mirror adjustments. Up on the top of that is the aluminum release handle along with lock and unlock. And then in the lower section of the door, you can see a little bit of storage space along with the trunk release and one of the speakers. 
And then moving to the interior now, with the track performance package, this model gets the Recaro performance seats. You can see suede running down the inserts, along with the two-tone leather and stitching running down the bolsters. Very aggressive bolsters, both around the sides and down below. And on the side of the seat, we have all of the automatic controls. And now, with my foot on the brake, we can go ahead and start this up. You'll see on the left side of the gauge cluster is the tack, on the right side is the miles per hour, and then running across the top you have some fixed information. You can see your fuel gauge along with battery voltage and other temperatures, along with the compass right on the top. And then in the lower section of that LCD screen, there's a lot of information to go through using buttons on the right side of the steering wheel. So right now you can see miles per hour. We can scroll down and look at your fuel economy. There's also the fuel range as well. You can take a look at your oil life when you need to change the oil. There's also the TPMS to monitor along with a lap timer as well. And then you can also click on the left arrow and pull up this menu where you can see we are just in information. If we go down to performance, you can pull up a lot more vital information. So if you're taking this to the track or back mountain roads, you can monitor all of this. You can even look at the electronic limited slip differential and you have all of your other temperatures to monitor. So it's very nice to quickly be able to pull those up. You can also go into the audio, the navigation when that is on and running. And then you can also pull up your phone and settings to go into or options that you can look at. So you can go into launch control to be able to activate that. And you have other things that you can configure. And then you'll also notice as part of the track performance package, we have Alcantara lining the steering wheel. It gives it a very nice feel and I love the design of it. You'll see on the left side, we have all the cruise control settings along with some favorites buttons. There's volume on the right side along with all the controls I was using for that center gauge cluster. And you also have your Bluetooth and voice commands. You'll also notice the steering wheel mounted paddle shifters which are finished off in black. And this also has a flat bottom design to it. You can see another SS badge, which is a great touch to see. Moving to the left side of the steering wheel, you'll see we have one air vent along with the heads up display controls. So you can actually move this up and down if you'd like to, which is really nice to see. And you can also look at a lot of information. So you can pull up and monitor your G's along with the tack, your miles per hour, and what gear you're in. You can strictly just look at the miles per hour. You can look at that along with your radio when you have that on and running. You can change it to the compass if you'd like to. And then working your way to the center, you'll see the eight inch touchscreen system. So this is very easy to go through and it offers a lot of information. You can see Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You can go into settings and monitor all of that information. If we click on the home button here, that will bring us back to this screen. We can swipe over and view the climate controls. You have your Sirius XM. We can swipe all the way back here where you can monitor your radio along with your phone when that is paired. And there's even some shortcuts in the lower section of the screen. So if you want to quickly get to your AC controls, you can turn those on and monitor everything with that. You can also click on the home button on the screen itself if you'd like to, which is really nice to see. And you'll notice we have seek and track buttons just underneath that along with power and volume for the radio and a back button on the far right side. You'll notice just underneath that we have a row of buttons. We can turn on and off the AC along with direct the airflow. You have auto and AC on the right side. And then you'll also notice there's a small LCD screen on both sides. And you can actually adjust the temperature by twisting on this AC vent dial on the left side. So we have temperature there and then we have fan speed on the right side. So you can see that adjust on the screen there. Really nice how they incorporated those into these AC vents. And then you can turn them on and off just by twisting the center dial. And then there's also some defroster buttons up top along with the hazard button. You'll notice that the shifter is finished off in more of that suede. If I go ahead and put the vehicle into reverse, now we have the backup camera with the guidelines. If I push on this, the guidelines go away. So just depending on what you'd like to see. And then of course we can put it all the way down into drive, pop it over into manual mode, and that allows you to use these steering wheel mounted paddle shifters. You'll notice just behind that we have the traction control button along with the different driving modes. So just by pushing on this, you can go between tour, sport, track, snow, and ice. And the exhaust note will actually change as you heard earlier in this video. You'll see the electronic parking brake just behind that along with a 12 volt. We have two cup holders right in the center. And then you can see the center armrest is actually covered in leather. And if we go ahead and open this up, you'll see there's a good amount of storage space. You can place some smaller items if you need to. And there's also two USB ports in the back section. And then making our way to the glove box now, you'll see there's definitely plenty of room for all of your items that have to go there. 
We'll take one last look at these beautiful seats. They have a really nice design to them as you already saw. And then up top we have the dome lights along with some OnStar features. Now it's time to go ahead and hop into the back seats of the Camaro. This is a two-door four-seater vehicle. You can see I have the front backrest all the way up. All you have to do is pull on this lever on the back there. And then at five foot ten, I can go ahead and make my way into the back. And now you can see it is a little bit crammed. My head is up against the headliner and I have the front seat pushed a little bit farther forward just to give me some more leg room. But these are functional back seats. If you had to put full size adults back here, you have the option to do that. You can also use this for more storage space as well. So you're not buying this for a full four seater vehicle, but if you need to use them in a pinch, they are here. You can see there's a little bit of storage space right in the center along with more leather, which just gives it a really nice touch. And then we have some armrests and speakers on the sides and these windows here here are great for extra visibility. Now it's time to go ahead and take a look at the trunk storage space. There's three different ways you can do this on the door panel, on the key fob, or you can push on the hidden button up underneath. It's on the right side of the backup camera that will release the trunk, giving us access to this area. So you'll see there's actually a good amount of storage space with the back seats up and the back seat does fold down. It is connected as one, so you can fold the entire backrest down, giving you a lot more storage. So if you need to use that, you have the option to, but if you have rear seat passengers, you can fit a lot of items back here. All right, so getting the 2021 Chevrolet Camaro 1SS out on the road now, this is pretty much the model that you want. Any driver enthusiast would be happy with this model because you still get the V8 with the track performance package too. As you already saw, all of these goodies are what drivers want. We have the upgraded brakes, we have the magnetic ride, we even have this exhaust, which we need to go ahead and put it into track mode because it sounds so good. Got some pops in that exhaust. Oh, you, <laughs> you. Wow. Oh, you can't go wrong with this. That is definitely the exhaust to get. It puts a smile on your face, and this is definitely a great daily driving car. You could drive this every day and just have so much fun with it. The Camaros are such fun cars to drive. This is the second 21 that I've been able to check out this year, and I love them. I love getting behind the wheel. So once again, huge shout out to Randy Marion Chevrolet. I can't get over that exhaust. It sounds so good. Let's go ahead and tone it down a bit. We'll go into a tour mode here, put it back into a normal automatic mode, and let the car shift and see how it does. complain with that it does get quieter of course that's the point of it but it still sounds good we have to go back into track though oh this is such a fun car i think what i love the most too about this model is we have the suede on the steering wheel gives it a very comfortable feel you can see it on these seats too which are incredibly comfortable i love the bolstering support that they have both down on my thighs and around my back here it gives me great support so you can take this on some twisty roads i'm sure this car is going to handle these incredibly well. Wow. I mean, this is all I have for today's video, but I mean, as soon as you turn the steering wheel, this car is going exactly where you want it. It's definitely a great back mountain roads car. You can take this to the track. We have launch control from the factory, so you can take this to the drag strip if you'd like to and just have a ball with it. Now let's go ahead and talk about some of the daily driving aspects as you would be taking this on the roads for most of the time. Visibility is really good. <laughs> you can see over your left shoulder fine. You can look over your right shoulder. The pillar back there is not really all that bulky so you can see around it. I love having the back windows for your back seat passengers if you have them, but it's great for visibility too. So I can look pretty much all around and I have no blind spots. So that's great to see in a car like this. We also have a very low roof line from the exterior. You can see it's kind of more on the flat side. It gives it a great look, don't get me wrong. I love it on the outside. On the interior here, it brings the windshield down just a little bit, but at the same time, forward facing visibility is really good. I can see these stoplights here, so I don't have to look up underneath the windshield, which is great. So I love how low it is, but at the same time, it's very wide. <laughs> we gotta do another one. That's not anything crazy for being a brand new vehicle. It sounds so good. So we're all the way up into 10th gear now, cruising around 50 miles an hour. We're down to around 1100 RPM. This would be a great highway cruiser if you need to take it on long trips. And we have a lot of great amenities 
for this being a daily driver. We have the eight inch screen right in the center here, but I love how it's slightly angled down. So the sunlight is not going to affect it. So right now it's completely in the shade, even though it is a sunny day out. So I love that aspect to it and the design. It really works well. One last acceleration for today's video. anything crazy this has a red line around 6500 rpm we're nowhere close to that in today's video so you could really rip on this you can use launch control and have a blast you could have three other people in this car with you if you wanted to do that which just adds to that fun factor of being a great versatile vehicle but i think that's going to wrap it up for my walk around review and test drive behind the wheel of the 2021 chevrolet camaro 1ss with the ss1 elite track performance package once again, huge shout out to Randy, Mary, and Chevrolet for providing this sports car for me today. Make sure you guys check out their website. That will be down in the description below. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a huge thumbs up. Consider smashing that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on our daily uploads. I'll see you guys in the next video.